Hey guys, this is Corey Dunn. You may know me from doing play-by-play -play for games like Counter-Strike 1.6, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, doing it for major events called Major League Gaming, and back in the day doing World Series of video games. And one of the things that I always run into is whenever I'm playing video games, I always get asked, hey, can you do play-by-play -play for me whenever I'm in games? And sometimes it even gets to the extent of, hey, can you follow me around and do play-by-play -play of my everyday experiences? Now, after a lot of deliberation, I've kind of figured out, well, hey, why don't I do play-by-play -play for some of the things that I do routinely? And one of the things we're going to do today in this beautiful weather that we have here, it looks like it's overcast, but in North Texas, it's actually pretty nice out. So uh, what we're going to do today is actually play some Frisbee with my pup here, and uh, we'll see how well she can make some catches here. So. All right, so let's first off kind of take a look at the uh, the arena that we have to work with here. A fence that hasn't been fixed yet, but we've got some shrubbery that actually overhangs uh, out in the open. That may be a conflict later on. But also we have this awning that sometimes gets in the way, and it actually slows down uh, some of the gameplay uh, whenever the wind kind of catches up and kind of kicks things up there and the Frisbee gets ends up getting stuck. But one of our competitors here today is actually going to be Ember. Uh, she reigns in at 85 pounds, a yellow Labrador retriever with a mix of a golden uh, retriever. She is going to be the one that's going to be making the catches here. Of course, she's got some youthfulness in her, uh, roughly about a year and eight months and almost two years old now. But she's been catching frisbees and uh, retrieving for quite some time, almost uh, since she was about six, seven months old. So let's go ahead and get things underway right here in North Texas. We've got Ember. See if she can catch this right here, this frisbee, as we'll kind of break things down again one by one. Of course, it's going to be a five catch scenario. We'll give her five attempts, see if she can make five catches. So let's go ahead and get right into this one. And for the first attempt, let's go ahead and see if she can get this nice catch. Oh, leaping! And able to make that first catch here. A nice little distance there. She got up in the air to make that catch. As we'll see if she can make this second one now. It's going to be a big, big issue. Sliding in. Nice little grab. The quickness really is proven uh, here in this young pup as the, uh, the wind starts to gust up a little bit and see if it might be a factor here. As throw number three and another catch. And that was actually kind of a soft toss there. Definitely one of the issues today is how windy it is. It's going to make some really big conflicts getting it into this one. Just check out the gusts that are happening here in the backyard. And we're about to get on our way here with the fourth throw. And she, we're going to have to see a ruling on that one, whether or not she was able to make the grab. I mean, she was just right there before it may have hit the ground. There's a possibility. Um, but we'll see if she can make this fifth and final catch here. But, oh, too bad.